boy every day. Shit, the motherfuckers that cut the checks is the Jews and shit. And I mean, that's because they were able to get ahead of the game many, many years ago, centuries ago. Shit, they were able to start the banking system, you know, shit, build up their wealth, start backing motherfuckers. I mean, shit. Y'all search up the elder protocols of Zion, please. They people try to push that shit as being fake or whatever, but a lot of it that the shit that's in there, I swear, has already played out or is still being played out. The truth be in front of people's face, and they refuse to see that shit because they can't piece it together. It's literally like the matrix shit even though it's so cliche where people say yeah i took that red pill and you know shit now i mean it's like this like either you sucked in on the money shit and the masses like what they talking about you kind of your mind is dictated by what other people tell you or you're a free thinker to where your mind is dictated by like how you feel and what you actually see because for me how i feel is shit based on the shit that I see my life experiences and I also look at what other people go through too and I can kind of you know base my judgment on that but also shit when it goes into other things you got to look at things like that happen throughout history if people claiming this shit happened and it didn't only happen once like nothing else similar to this thing that happened period and it's no proof or evidence of it then you know shit that shit got to be fake but the masses are rock with that shit though but back, more on the yay shit though he was talking about that and that's the main thing that he didn't got shut down for he then lost uh his adidas deal gap deal which he was trying to get out of adidas in the gap deal and the balenciaga deal he lost all that nonetheless though uh they tried to do that what uh basically tried to make this nigga shut down his school which he reopened it back up after two days um it's like motherfuckers just bashing them left and right. And it's like, to me, it just be crazy. They And, and also, he made comments about George Floyd, too. He said uh, the officer wasn't really on his neck like that. And George Floyd died from fentanyl, which I would have to disagree with that. I feel like George Floyd mainly died. Well, it, it came out that George Floyd had the fucking uh, Fenty in his system. A lethal dosage. But... um. I say like it, that motherfucker mainly died from a cop being damn near on his neck and what two or three other officers being on his back, bro, and shit. But it's cause Jay watched the documentary though, and like shit, they was trying to sue Kanye, but it's like, bro, he got this shit from the Candace Owens doc. But also, this is public info, like it's shit that's out there. So. I feel like ultimately, if you're gonna sue somebody, put out the motherfuckers that put out the report that this happened and shit like that. Cause I don't know if y'all remember when Derek Chauvin, he got a uh, sentence or whatever. What is it? He got like 20, 30 years or some shit like that. But he was saying, y'all just wait till the other info come out. Maybe that was the other info he was talking about that like bro had the fentanyl in his system and he died from that or something. But shit, nonetheless, I feel like, I mean, it's a combination of both, but it's mainly bro being on his motherfucking back and shit. Cause if you press down, it don't matter if you got drugs in your system or not. If your shit, your chest being pressed down into the ground or where you can't get up, you can't breathe or nothing like that, then shit, I mean, you gonna die. Or you gonna pass out first and then pass away if they stay up on you and shit. Um, but Kanye's not even being canceled for that though. People more so on the the anti-Semitism bullshit or whatever. Got hella motherfuckers coming out saying, yeah, I don't condone anti-Semitism and shit. What is it? Uh, Aaron Donald and Jalen Brown, they left Donda Sports and all that. And they had to make a statement. Like, for what, nigga? You could just leave, for real. I feel like it's all a part of, like... Yeah, shit, let me go ahead and do this. Like, it can add to the clout, add to the followers. You can get some cool points, some fucking likability credits and shit like that. That's all these motherfuckers want these days is to fall in with the fucking crowd, bro, and be liked and accepted. Like, and if, I, I don't even really fuck with Ye music. For I thought he was always like, he had his head up his ass, to be real. 
but I never felt with him more than now, to be honest, just because he really speaking his mind, I feel like. Before, it seemed like he was a puppeteer up until like the past couple years, because like even with the slavery was a choice shit. I mean, I somewhat then felt like that too, and shit, but not necessarily it was a choice. Like it's to, these motherfuckers, bro, y'all ain't finna stand up against these few white motherfuckers that got y'all out here in this motherfucking field, but get the fuck out of here. I told myself, bro, you drop me in any era, nigga, I'm still gonna be the same nigga I am today, and shit. And during slavery, I'm definitely not going for that shit. What uh, that nigga Killmonger say? Nigga, bury me in the ocean where my ancestors jumped to because they rather die than be in bondage, nigga. I'd rather die than be fucking in bondage, nigga. Shit. <laughs> but we definitely would have swung on the fucking master. Whoever, you got one gun that you got to try to load with a stick, nigga. Come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass before you get the chance to load that motherfucker. Come on, that's so I feel, yeah, you know, you know, the whole slavery was a choice and we still locked in slavery because if y'all think about it, we forced to go to work every single day to make this money to pay these fucking taxes to the government, which is some fuck shit. You can buy a house, whatever you, you buy in a house, you still got to pay the taxes on it or else they going to come seize your property, foreclose on your shit, kick your ass out, throw your mother shit, fucking shit out with it and everything. So... But none of us is free. If you don't work, get this money. If you homeless, you're stuck outside. You can't legally build no house anywhere. Even if you go to the woods, you can't take no sticks and build you no house. You can't find you no wood and build you something. If you do, the police can come in and kick you up out that shit or whatever. The government will come in and do whatever. You can't just build no house anywhere without paying for that shit. Which is some dumb shit. So, I mean, it's like we locked into some shit that we ain't got no choice but to abide by and fall into. Big Dash, I don't care if you mad, I don't care if you happy, I don't care if you sad, you 